Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yay. Okay. Now let's have the practice test. This is part of the flyers in which you will gonna have a random activity. So we have here the practice test for 1.3. Okay. Just a minute. I will um we're gonna have listening 2.1 practice test and listening 2.2 practice test. Okay, I will share to you now. Okay. computer game how do you play it well you have to move these robots from the countryside into space wait, wait, and the robots wait, have boys and girls names yes the yellow ones are wait, 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 wait. okay now well, let's move to 4.2 Are you good? Are you good? Okay. Wait, can you see this? I'll just a minute. I'll wait for a minute. Okay, here. Okay. Ready for this? Okay. Can you hear? Yes. Me? Can you hear me? Of course. You just say, "Can you hear?" Me? <laughs> okay. I love you, Ben. Okay. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. 
So, this is your music club, is it? Yes. Do you want to sit and watch them for a few minutes, Dad? OK. Who is the girl that's playing the drums? That's Sarah. She's good, isn't she? Yes, she is. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who is the girl who's dancing? Between the two boys, you mean? Yes. That's Helen. Oh, right. Is that Richard, the boy who's wearing a scarf on his head? There are two boys wearing scarves. The one at the front? The singer? Yes. Yes, that's him. They're not bad, are they? They're all OK, but Michael's excellent. The boy who is playing the guitar? No, the one at the piano. Oh, yes, I know him. I couldn't see his face very well. Does William ever come to the club? Yes, he's here. He's one of our dancers. Which one? He has his hands above his head. Oh, yes, I can see him. Which one do you like best? The girl with the guitar. Is that Emma? Yes. How did you know? Oh, I know her mum and dad. Now Can listen to part one again. Who is the girl who's dancing? Between the two boys, you mean? Yes. That's Helen. Oh, right. Is that Richard, the boy who's wearing a scarf on his head? There are two boys wearing scarves. The one at the front? The singer? Yes. Yes, that's him. They're not bad, are they? They're all OK, but Michael's excellent. The boy who is playing the guitar? No, the one at the piano. Oh, yes, I know him. I couldn't see his face very well. Does William ever come to the club? Yes, he's here. He's one of our dancers. Which one? He has his hands above his head. Oh, yes, I can see him. Which one do you like best? The girl with the guitar. Is that Emma? Yes. How did you know? Oh, I know her mum and dad. That is the end of part one. So you have the lesson and draw the reason one example. Okay, please, Dan. So you have here. Okay, please, we have Helen. Oh, let us check Helen. Oh, this girl is Helen who are dancing, who is dancing rather between the two boys. Okay, she's wearing yellow. And where is Richard? Richard is a boy. Richard is the boy singing. Yeah, he is singing. He has a red scarf on his head. Yeah. Okay, very good. Michael, oh, where is it? Very good. What Michael is doing? Michael is playing the piano. Okay, he is playing the piano teacher. And, and that's for... William, what do you think William is doing in the picture? Um, I think he is dancing he is with dancing. the hand above his head. Dancing teacher Anne. Okay, another one, Emma. Where is Emma? Emma is playing the guitar. Emma is playing the guitar. And next, where is? Okay, very good. Wow, you got perfect. Five over five. Yes, great job, Ben. Wow, I am so amazed. It's five over five. Okay, five over five. 
Okay, next one. Okay, here. You listen and write. There is one example. Okay. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Um, I can hear anything. Hello, young man. Do you want to ask me some questions? Yes, I've got to write oh, some my homework. Oh. Well? When I see you on TV, everyone just... Ben, do you have, do you have a problem? No, there's no, no, nothing. Okay, I will continue. Ben, Ben. Okay. Can I proceed? Okay. Okay, thank you. Do you want to ask me some questions? Yes. I've got to write some things about you for my homework. Well? When I see you on TV, everyone just calls you Betty. Do you have another name? Yes. It's Betty Fountain. That's F O U N. T A I N. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Right. Now I know. But I don't know how old you are. <laughs> you guess. Mm, 43? <laughs> no, 57. But you look so young. Well, I try to eat the right things. Like what? I usually eat salad, rice and fish. Mmm. Do you live in a big house near the beach, like all the other actors and singers? No, I have a flat in the city and a little house in a village. Oh, what do you do in your holidays? We love sports, so in winter we go skiing. And in the summer, we go climbing. Who do you go with? I always go on holiday with my husband. Now listen to part two again. Right. Now I know. But I don't know how old you are. <laughs> you guess. Mmm, 43? <laughs> no, 57. But you look so young. Well, I try to eat the right things. Like what? I usually eat salad, rice and fish. Mmm. Do you live in a big house near the beach, like all the other actors and singers? No, I have a flat in the city and a little house in a village. Oh, what do you do in your holidays? We love sports, so in winter we go skiing. And in the summer, we go climbing. Who do you go with? I always go on holiday with my husband. That is the end of part two. Okay. You want to listen again? One more? No need? Yes. Oh, okay. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. 
Hello, young man. Do you want to ask me some questions? Yes. I've got to write some things about you for my homework. Well? When I see you on TV, everyone just calls you Betty. Do you have another name? Yes, it's Betty Fountain. That's F-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Right. Now I know. But I don't know how old you are. <laughs> you guess. Mmm, 43? <laughs> no, 57. But you look so young. Well, I try to eat the right things. Like what? I usually eat salad, rice and fish. Mmm. Do you live in a big house near the beach, like all the other actors and singers? No, I have a flat in the city and a little house in a village. Oh, what do you do in your holidays? We love sports, so in winter we go skiing and in the summer we go climbing. Who do you go with? I always go on holiday with my husband. Now listen to part two again. Right. Now I know. But I don't know how old you are. <laughs> you guess. Mmm, 43? <laughs> no, 57. But you look so young. Well, I try to eat the right things. Like what? I usually eat salad, rice and fish. Mmm. Do you live in a big house near the beach, like all the other actors and singers? No, I have a flat in the city and a little house in a village. Oh, what do you do in your holidays? We love sports, so in winter we go skiing and in the summer we go climbing. Who do you go with? I always go on holiday with my husband. That is the end of part two. Okay, so we have here band. Very good. This is about the famous actress. Okay. Betty Fountain. Okay, how old is Betty? Oh, wow, it's 57. So it means... Betty is already old, older than teacher Anne. How old do you think is teacher Anne? Can you guess my age? I am? How old? Mm, 40, 46. Wow, 46. Oh my God. Teacher Anne is already 46. I am too old. You know how? I am 50 now. But, okay. Okay. All this. I am 46 already. Oh, I don't love you anymore because he said I am 46. Okay. Food. What's the food? Okay. Salad, rice, and fish. And homes. Oh, flat in the city or house in the village. And holidays. Oh, winter. Of course, in winter, you will have to do skiing. But in summer, very good. With her husband. Okay, yay! Yeah, hey. Five over five again. Yay! Part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Alex's uncle loves taking photos with his new camera. Where did he take each photo? Look at these, Alex. They're some photos that I took with my new camera. 
Oh, they look great. You are clever. <laughs> I took this photo of these flowers when we were having a picnic by the lake. We walked there on Sunday. We were on holiday there. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Where did you take this one? The one of the two men? Well, I met them last week. I went with them to visit an old village in the mountains. This is a photo of them back at our hotel in the city. They were on their balcony there. And look at this lovely swan, Alex. It's great. Your aunt and I were sitting by the river in town when I took this photo. It was very hot and sunny that day. We had lunch there. I enjoyed that day. I love this one. Why? Well, I'll tell you the story about this one. We were walking over a bridge on Thursday when suddenly this parrot shouted out, Hello! I quickly took a picture of it before it flew back into the trees. It had a very long tail. Wow! How exciting! You'll like this one too. All the others wanted to stay on the beach at the weekend, but I wanted to do something more interesting. I found a dark cave there and went inside. There were lots of bats there. Here's the photo that I took of them. Weren't you afraid? No. And what about this one? Hmm. I saw these strange insects on the rocks near a waterfall. Perhaps they liked the lovely cold water. It was another very hot day. I don't know what kind they are. Do you? No. But it's a great photo. They all are. Thanks, Alex. Now listen to part three again. Where did you take this one? The one of the two men? Well, I met them last week. I went with them to visit an old village in the mountains. This is a photo of them back at our hotel in the city. They were on their balcony there. And look at this lovely swan, Alex. It's great. Your aunt and I were sitting by the river in town when I took this photo. It was very hot and sunny that day. We had lunch there. I enjoyed that day. I love this one. Why? Well, I'll tell you the story about this one. We were walking over a bridge on Thursday when suddenly this parrot shouted out, Hello! I quickly took a picture of it before it flew back into the trees. It had a very long tail. Wow! How exciting! You'll like this one too. All the others wanted to stay on the beach at the weekend, but I wanted to do something more interesting. I found a dark cave there and went inside. There were lots of bats there. Here's the photo that I took of them. Weren't you afraid? No. And what about this one? Hmm. I saw these strange insects on the rocks near a waterfall. Perhaps they liked the lovely cold water. It was another very hot day. I don't know what kind they are. Do you? No. But it's a great photo. They all are. Thanks, Alex. That is the end of part three. OK. So you have completed it successfully. Very good, Ben. OK. And we are going to talk. Oh, are you ready? The teacher will going to reveal the answer. Yes. OK, very good, my love. Now, Alex uncles loves taking pictures or photo with his new camera. OK, where did he take each of these photo posted in the picture here in the screen? So first, this one, OK? He said it's letter O. Very good. It is taken. Oh, in the lake. Oh, I know it's a river. Next, the insect. 
Oh, first is the parrot. Where is the parrot? Oh, it is in the bridge. And next, oh, teacher, letter B, correct the bats. The bat is in the cave, of course, because mostly the bats in the cave, this is their home, the bats. The bats usually live in the cave, okay, because for them, it is safer if they will have to stay there and they can be protected. Okay, next is the man. Oh, look at the man. Oh, the man is letter F. Oh, it's in the balcony. It's in the balcony of their house. Probably they are talking or they are drinking coffee. Okay, and next is letter F, the insect. Oh, oh yeah, it is in the waterfalls. In the waterfalls, they saw the insect and they took a picture of it. Wow, five over five again. Great job, Ben Ben. Wow, it's so amazing now. Okay, five over five. Wow, great job. Next one here. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah, very Did I write all? Okay, next one here. You listen. You listen and chat. Okay. okay. Look at in the box we have here. What time did the school finish? We have the answer. It's half past three or three thirty. Letter A. And we have here the question about Sarah. What is Sarah's favorite letter? And which girl is Sally? Okay, listen, Ben. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What time did school finish? Hello, Sarah. You're late. It's after seven. Well, I play tennis with Sue after school today. But school finished at half past three. That was a long tennis game. Well, we played until half past five, and then we went to Sue's house. We were very thirsty, and her mum gave us some lemonade. All right, but why didn't you phone us? Sorry, Dad. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which is Sarah's favourite lesson? We had my favourite lesson today. What? Art? No, that's not my favourite. Well, it was. Oh, I liked art when I was younger, but I prefer science subjects now. And geography. I love learning all about the world. That's the best subject. 2. Which girl is Sally? There's a new girl in my class, Dad. Her name's Sally. Is she nice? Very nice. And she's got lovely long hair. Well, your short hair is lovely too, Sarah. Yes, but Sally's hair is curly and mine's all straight. Two more Part 4. Listen and look. There is one example. What time did school finish? Hello, Sarah. You're late. It's after 7. Well, I play tennis with Sue after school today. But school finished at half past 3. That was a long tennis game. Well, we played until half past five, and then we went to Sue's house. We were very thirsty, and her mum gave us some lemonade. All right, but why didn't you phone us? Sorry, Dad. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. 
Which is Sarah's favourite lesson? We had my favourite lesson today. What? Art? No, that's not my favourite. Well, it was. Oh, I liked art when I was younger, but I prefer science subjects now. And geography. I love learning all about the world. That's the best subject. 2. Which girl is Sally? There's a new girl in my class, Dad. Her name's Sally. Is she nice? Very nice. And she's got lovely long hair. Well, your short hair is lovely too, Sarah. Yes, but Sally's hair is curly and mine's all straight. Which is Sarah's favourite lesson? Oh, it is science, it is geography, it is, uh, it is art lesson. Well, very good. Now, which girl is Sally in the picture? Is the one who has a long hair, a shoulder level hair, it's straight, the short, that is quite curly, or the long, and it's curly too. Which do you pick? Okay, letter is a very good band. Next one. Okay, that you've got two perfect. Let's move to three, four, and five. Okay, teacher will just go to the bathroom. Okay, listen. Three. Which team is Sarah in? Something excellent happened today. What? I'm going to be in a big sports competition. It's for lots of schools. Great. Which sports? Well, some of my friends are going to be in races or play volleyball, but I'm in the swimming team. Four. What did Sarah have for lunch? What did you have for lunch today? Burgers and french fries. Did you have any salad with that? Or fruit? No, I didn't. Sarah, you should always... Dad, stop, please. Five. What is Sarah going to do next? Well, what are you going to do now, Sarah? Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Can I have supper later? OK. Are you going to do your homework now? Did your teacher give you some today? Yes, she did. She gave us some geography and maths. OK. Well, you should do it now, I think. Oh, Dad, it's so hot this evening. I must have a shower first. I'll do my homework after that. Three. Which team is Sarah in? Something excellent happened today. What? I'm going to be in a big sports competition. It's for lots of schools. Great. Which sports? Well, some of my friends are going to be in races or play volleyball, but I'm in the swimming team. Four. What did Sarah have for lunch? What did you have for lunch today? Burgers and french fries. Did you have any salad with that? Or fruit? No, I didn't. Sarah, you should always... Dad, stop, please. Five. What is Sarah going to do next? Well, what are you going to do now, Sarah? Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Can I have supper later? OK. Are you going to do your homework now? Did your teacher give you some today? Yes, she did. She gave us some geography and maths. OK. Well, you should do it now, I think. Oh, Dad, it's so hot this evening. 
I must have a shower first. I'll do my homework after that. Okay. Okay, first here we have, okay, look at this one. What did, what team is Sarah in? Oh, swimming team. Okay, what else? Okay, swimming team. It is running or volleyball. Okay, you said it's very good. Four. What did Sarah have for lunch? What did Sarah have for lunch? It's letter B. Letter B, it's a burger and a fries. Okay, now, what is Sarah going to do next? What is Sarah going to do next? It's letter A, very good, it's letter A. Sarah will going to have shower of course before she eats and before she make her homework okay wow five over five again ben ben yeah hey that's great job that's an awesome it's not one. very hard easy yeah but it's okay that's an awesome thing okay. okay now let us you've got 20 over 20. okay now let's move to the other topic 20 over 20. I will take note of that. So perfect here. So let's move to the other activity because it's only writing. Okay. I want you to. Please listen. Please do this. Okay, in a minute. Please wait me. Okay, listen. Okay, test reading. Okay, please do this. I know you're very good with this. Okay, are we done with this or not yet? Please tell teacher. Are we done or not yet? Mm. Miss Ann. Yes, are we done? Are we finished? Uh, can we do this? Can we do this? Um, the next meeting. Why? Because oh, we still have time. Okay, you can do it. I mean, are we finished or not yet? I think we finished. Okay, so if we finished, you can move to other activity. Okay, wait for a while. Okay. 
because I have another class now. I'm very sorry. I don't know. I don't know why they keep keep like remove remove this time to the lower time. I don't know why. Do you have class aside after this? No, like right now. I don't know why. Why? What happened? If the people in my school keep keep like um, removing remove the time like ah. uh, four to like three thirty. I don't know why. Ah, okay. So you have class in the school now. Yes. There's a change. Yes. Okay. So we will be until here now. You wanna leave? Yes, because I have another class. I'm very sorry. Okay, okay, okay. You can leave now. Okay, if you want. So we still have seven minutes anyway. Okay, you can leave now. We'll just see each other on Wednesday. Okay, Ben Ben. Okay. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye.